Hello everyone, welcome to Native Mobile Vids. In today's video, we are going to learn about intent. And in simple word, intent is a way of telling Android that what you want to do. If you want to go from one screen to another screen, you can tell Android that I want to go from screen A to screen B. So if you are new to Android world, you must be thinking, what is this intent in Android? Intent is of two types, implicit and explicit. So if you have an Android phone, you use this functionality, this Android intent functionality on your daily basis. Every application which you use in your phone has this concept implemented one way or another. Let's consider one example. If you have an Android phone, you must be having some e-commerce applications, right? Where you can purchase something, right? So if you select some items, you add those items into your cart and then that application asks you to pay for those items, right? So you have multiple options. You can either pay from UPI, you can either pay from net banking and maybe you can either pay from some other third party UPI application as well. So whenever you click on that payment button, you see a lot of options, right? Like from which application you want to pay. Do you want to pay from phone pay? Do you want to pay from Google pay or any other UPI application, right? So those applications user can select based on his or her convenience. Our intention is clear that we want to make a payment. This is our intention. But then user has the option to choose from which application user want to pay. This is the first type of intent which is called implicit intent. Now this scenario where user has some options from which user can select one option, this is called implicit intent. Second type of intent is called explicit intent. One classic example of explicit intent will be that maybe in your application you want to go from screen A to screen B or maybe you want to go from one screen to another screen. This will come under second type of intent which is called explicit intent. In explicit intent we will be clearly specifying that we want to go from this component to this component and there are no options to choose. We want to go from this place to this place and that is straightforward. So if you are clear that you want to go to this place, then you can use explicit intent. In this example, we have these two activity. First activity, this one, and then we have this second activity. Okay, I have added different color to differentiate. Now let's say we want to go from this first activity to second activity. So we are clear that we want to go to second activity. So this is coming under explicit intent. Let's say we want to click on this text itself and we want to go to the second activity. Okay. So we can take reference to this text first. Okay. I have created one late init variable. Then we can just take reference using this. Okay. Now we want to add one click listener to this text. Okay. So we can just use this set own click listener and we can write one function go to second screen. Okay. We can just take this. We can create one function. This one. We can make this private as well. Now we want to write one explicit intent that from first activity we want to go to second activity. Okay. So to write an intent, we can just create one variable. We need to use this intent and we need to pass two parameter. First, we need to pass the context of the current activity. So we can just write this at the rate first activity. And then we need to specify the destination where we want to go. So we want to go to this second activity. So we can just copy this and we can write class dot Java. This is the way we can define one explicit intent. Now we want to perform this intent, right? We want to tell OS to start this intent. So we just need to write start activity and we need to pass this intent. Okay. And let's run our application. So our application is installed and we are clicking on this first activity and our intent is started. Okay. Our explicit intent is executed and we reached on to second activity. We can just go back from here and if we click again, 
we will again come to this second activity. This is the explicit intent, this one. We are writing one intent, we are just passing the context of the current activity and then we are passing the name of the activity where we want to go and then we are just using this start activity method and we are passing this intent here. Now let's say we want to pass some data from this first activity to second activity okay. So let's say we can take some data from this edit text maybe we can quickly add one edit text and we can just add one id here maybe text okay for now we can just add this we can add one hint please enter something and maybe we can add one minimum height 60 dp we can add some padding and we can add some margin here let's rename this to go to second activity let's make this as button itself we can change these things here this is button now let's modify this little bit now let's say we want to pass the data which user type into this okay so first we need to take that data value entered by user and we can take with the help of this edit text and now we have our intent we have the data as well so we can just add one extra here intent dot put extra we can add some key value pair here so we need to add one key with the help of this key itself we will access the data in the destination okay so let's say we enter here data very common thing but let's add this key itself for now okay or maybe let's say we add data entered by user okay and then we pass this okay so we have one intent we are just adding one extra one data we are passing okay if we have some other thing also let's say we want to pass something random data and we want to pass some boolean so we can pass boolean as well okay we can pass all kind of data here so inside second activity we need to use this intent we need to check if this is not null then we need to use this get string extra we need to pass the value of the key which we added here okay we can create one variable let's say we take the same keyword of string type and inside this we initialize the value if there is no data we are adding elvis operator and as we also pass some boolean from here we can use that boolean we can access the boolean using intent dot get boolean extra if we pass some integer we can use this int extra and same way we can use this float and other variable also we can access in this text view itself let's set the text passed by user but before that we need to take the reference of this text view so let's add one reference real quick we are taking reference using the same id and then now we can set this text so right now we have added one explicit intent and we are also passing some data okay and we are accessing this data inside this destination we are accessing from intent with the same key which we used inside this now if we enter something here hello from native mobile bits and we go to second activity so this text will be shown now we are using explicit intent and with this explicit intent we are passing some data also to the destination where we are going 
and then we are accessing the data using intent. This is a straightforward solution where we wanted to go from first screen to second screen and this is an explicit intent. But let's say we want to allow our application to send this text typed by user to all the messaging app installed in the device. That means whatever the user is typing, there should be one option when user click on send, all the possible messaging applications should come up. Like to which application you want to send this typed message. That will be one implicit intent. Let's implement that implicit intent. So let's create one private function share text to apps. Okay. And inside this let's create one intent and this time instead of specifying any destination we are going to add the intent like what is our intention our intention is to send some message so we are going to use this intent dot action send okay we want to send some data now what kind of data so we will set some type that this will be text plain text okay we can also use property syntax like this now we need to add what data we want to pass right inside this we will use predefined intent key extra text okay and our text will be same which user will type this one and then we can start the intent okay it's simple we are just creating one intent and we are telling that our intention is to send a message okay then we are specifying that intent will have some data of text type then we are adding what text we want to send we are just taking this intent key and we are just passing whatever the data user will type okay and then we are starting our activity now let's see what will happen but before that let's comment this or oh, let's go to the declaration let's comment this function and this time call this whenever user will click on this button this method will execute share text to application now let's run our app now let's type something hello from native mobile bits and whenever we will click on this button we are creating one implicit intent okay so you can see that all of the application which can handle some text or which can send some text to some other user via message or via email via bluetooth android os is showing us okay whenever we click on this button like we typed some message now we are telling that we want to send this typed message to all the possible application which are installed in our phone so whenever we will click on this button os will show us android os is very clever android os will show us all the possible installed application like where you want to send this message if we click on any of this messages so it will ask do you want to send the messages in the future just to this application or you want OS to show this list always so whenever we will click on this it will ask us in which conversation you want to send that message there is no conversation ok let's select this new message we need to enter some number here ok and then whatever the message is typed in our application is pre-filled here isn't it beautiful this is an example of implicit intent so this is how android works with implicit intent if you type any new message again and again try to send this you can select any application but if you choose messages again there is one conversation already existing if you want to select the same conversation see one new message which we typed came here and we can send this message this way intent works in android that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my content please like share and subscribe to my channel your support is very necessary 
and your support will motivate me to keep making this video on my daily basis and I am working hard to keep sharing Android content and I will keep doing that you just keep your support with our channel and I will see you in the next video guys keep showing love